committing a crime because they're an addict, not because they want to commit crime, mm. because they have a compulsion. Mm. Um, the, the programs are not readily available, and I think what government could do right now, they've done this with the, with the Prevention and Treatment of Substance Abuse Bill, they have made alliances and stipulations for the level of education that treatment professionals need to have, mm. and what the, what the centres, what, what type of program they need to offer, um, um, the, the rights and standards of the individual. But they need to make funding available for people to become professionals. Mm. Uh, like, like the pastor said, it's, um, Pastor Dennis said, the best people to help people recovering from addiction are people who have recovered from addiction themselves. Mm. But they don't necessarily have the, the funds available to educate themselves to the level that the government requires them to be at to help people. Mm. So the government needs to have education programs that are funded to teach people to be addiction counseling professionals. Speaking of funds, I mean, in these tough economic times, do you find that uh, people are still uh, using drugs as much as they used to? Are they affordable? Yes. Uh, they are a lot more affordable, actually. Uh, about 6,000 tons of heroin hit our streets a few years ago. United Nations report said that heroin usage has gone down by 20% this year. I totally disagree with that. Mm. Um, it's affected the black youth in the in Mpumalanga, in the Whitbank area, massively, uh, because it's become cheaper than marijuana. It's cheaper than marijuana heroin now. Um, when people are stressed, when times are tough, People are more stressed and they desire or they consume more substances. Mm. So the, the times that we're living in uh, right now, the economic stresses that we have, um, make the thirst for addictive substances 